Ethics Committee is launching an investigation into Congressman George Santos. The panel is looking into whether the New York lawmaker engaged in illegal activity during his congressional campaign. They're also investigating whether or not he failed to properly disclose required information on statements filed with the House. And a House oversight body says Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez may have, quote, accepted impermissible gifts related to her Met Gala appearance back in 2021. So what's happening here? CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian joins us now from Capitol Hill uh, to walk us through um, both of these um, situations. What are the next steps, Nicole, by this panel in their investigation into Congressman Santos? Well, what we don't really know because uh, the Ethics Committee tends to keep its work uh, quiet. It's not anything that's publicly disclosed, but obviously the committee has now revealed that it has launched this investigation into George Santos. And so I imagine that they will start the work of uh, trying to examine evidence uh, related to the various uh, areas that they are looking to investigate as to whether or not Congressman George Santos uh, perhaps uh, violated uh, anything with respect to his campaign uh, finances and expenditures, uh, whether or not there was any improper activity as far as some of his past business practices. And there are also allegations of sexual misconduct uh, that this panel will be investigating. So uh, there is a lot of work cut out for this committee. This is a bipartisan committee that is led by uh, Congresswoman Susan Wild on the Democratic side, on the ranking side, and also on the Republican side by Congressman uh, David Joyce. Uh, so we now know that their work is underway in earnest. And part of the reason why we may be learning about this now is simply because uh, we are in the early stages of this Congress where many committees are organizing. So uh, we did expect the Ethics Committee to launch some type of probe. But again, now uh, that they have officially kind of organized, uh, that may explain why they're now uh, launching this probe officially into Congressman Santos. It is early yet, Nicole, but I wonder how has Santos responded to this news? Well, the congressman, obviously, you know, the House is out right now, so we haven't had a chance to try to uh, get a direct response from him. But he did post on his Twitter page that he is uh, complying with this investigation. And so I imagine certainly when a lawmakers return next week, he could potentially face more questions about this. As you see there, he's acknowledging that the Committee on Ethics has opened this investigation, uh, noting that he is fully cooperating but not commenting further at this time. And so, uh, you know, what we don't know is how long this investigation could potentially last, if this is something that will take weeks, months, or potentially even longer than that. And on the other side of the aisle, Nicole, I understand Congresswoman AOC, is, as she refers to herself sometimes, um, this probe has to do with her Tax the Rich dress um, that she wore to the Met Gala. What repercussions could she face if it's found that accepting that gift was impermissible? Uh, yeah, that's right. I mean, a lot of people might remember uh, that she got a lot of headlines for uh, wearing this dress at the time back in 2021 at the Met Gala. And so uh, what the committee found is that uh, the congresswoman uh, did receive that dress. She got makeup. She got a hotel room and it didn't appear at the time that she had paid for those things. And now her office has since said uh, that she has uh, paid uh, for those items. And had she not, then obviously uh, that is why the committee was investigating and, and why it could be perceived as impermissible. And, and uh, what her office argues is that this was simply, again, a matter of a reimbursement uh, that didn't necessarily happen in a timely fashion, although many of these payments, it appears, uh, were taken care of once this review was launched. So there are still some questions there. Uh, but again, the congresswoman's office insists that, uh, you know, unfortunately, maybe the ball might have been dropped uh, with respect to uh, reimbursing these items that the congresswoman certainly did not intend to receive uh, the dress, the hotel room, the makeup, etc., all of these things as gifts. But again, to be continued as the panel investigates. All right, more to come. Nicole Killian, thank you very much, Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. You bet.